Good afternoon, beautiful beloved family in the light. Wishing all of you an amazing, blessed Saturday. One week before the spring equinox. And here in the Washington DC area, it's been so beautiful with the warmth and the amazing sound of the birds. And just this renewal energy is so beautiful. You can really feel the lifted energy. It feels like we just had an amazing heavy winter, especially cold, snowy winter here, which is very significant for the support by nature itself, which gives individuals the gift of that transformation and the way when we are cocooned in we are able to go inward deeper and allow the gifts of transformation to come forward and we've all been speaking about transformation it's like a this never-ending journey of transformation and exactly that's what that is because it is layers and layers and layers we go through layers and layers in which we are capable of finally allowing just simple allowing and surrendered stillness so we can be with whatever is and then allow the energies that had been held in motion go back into motion so that becomes the transformation and it is a beautiful journey once we really get a hold of it in terms of our muscles getting more comfortable so we don't have to feel it's a burden that we're going to be facing these journeys again or this feeling of that we have to tackle it or we have to overcome it or anything like that because I feel those in itself have also been part of the journey that have had to be transformed because all of those that were a big part of feeling oh no again I thought I had dealt with this I thought I was over this I have done journey with this. I had already transformed this and here it is. And I feel that in itself when we're able to truly come on the other side of it and recognize this is an endless journey. There is no beginning, there is no end. There is a continuous meeting these energies and allowing them to go back into motion anything on a daily basis and I feel that fight with the end when it ends it really communicates the fight on the outside that is ending there's this beautiful I'm going to be pulling up here in a minute there's this beautiful awareness that I feel is finally surfacing in the collective that recognizes that there is no beginning, there is no end. And also there is this continuum journey. <laughs> and this journey is a labor of love because this self-discovery is realizing by realigning what is its truth and its truth that wishes to be expressed because it meets all these untruthful state of consciousness that used to be part of the so-called awareness and then they have expanded so they no longer resonate as a reality anymore and that's updated or shifted I'm pulling up to this area that um, I always walk every single day so I just actually finished walking so I'm going to be pulling up here 
to have a little conversation with each other. Oh, that's a good lighting right there. <laughs> so having said that, it's beautiful. I feel like when we're able to, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it here. That was a, that lighting was very nice and beautiful. There, see, look at that. From that state of consciousness, then we end the inner fight. And I feel that the spring renewal energy is finally this renewal conscious present that we're able to give to ourselves by this fight that we have. There's a part that's endured. There's a part that we have um, given our own energy to. And also we have kept it going has come to this state of present that no longer wishes to continue yet its transformation wants to now be continued which is such a beautiful gift so i wanted to share this with you because i get to walk here every single day and it's been amazing in all weather conditions walk here in this crystal field and and watch just watch the nature into this, into this continuum cycle of shift and change and shift and change and shift and change. And, and that is exactly us, this shift and change, shift and change. And universal field is continuously bringing us many different ways to give us the opportunity to shift and change, shift and change. So more and more of what we actually are emerge forward and by this shift and change it meets energies that have not been in motion that is then brought up into motion because we are now able to just be with them and allow them to circulate inside of us and also choose whether it rings reality from the state of presence or no longer rings reality from the truth in which we feel. And there's this gift which the actual physical body now wants to be engaged in experiencing versus just in the mental field that has been for a long time or the emotional field. The body wants to then take charge in the communication of that so it's quite a marvel I have to say to be a witness to all of this and I am just so grateful for the spring equinox as is also the Persian New Year as most of my audience know um, we'll be preparing we've been preparing with all the cleaning all the all the clearing and also anything that doesn't have that joy spark is tossed out whatever stays in the house is because it carries that joy spark energy which i feel is very important so we do a full massive clearing then we have a family gathering on um, saturday for the actual equinox and um, sunday we have a very small circle with some of the very 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 very, very closest for a spring energy which is so beautiful so I wanted to come on and embrace this now really embrace this now that gosh vibrates such beauty of this renewal and this renewal feels this detangled web and um, I feel for me personally it has been quite phenomenal. Today would be day, let me see, 40, I don't know if it's 44 or 48 of continuous daily meditation and walking and everything and sitting in that presence in the silence of hours and all that's unfolded and, and the witness of how so much of my several months ago just doesn't resonate and so many things for example sacred orders that i used to work with they don't resonate ancient knowledge 
wisdom keepers and all of these things you know the master's teaching and all that like none of that resonates with me in this second because the only thing that truly resonates is this right now and this breath of this right now and the silence of this right now what is being communicated to me rather than so much focus on ascension in the future or so much of the ancient knowledge of the past which i has been majority of my dedication which i love so much and i feel is now that place that's brought me just continuously here just here nowhere else here and today was an amazing example with my son my younger son was in a slight little car accident as well and we had to deal with that and just comfort him just bring him to this moment and um, to be able to allow him to experience the moment but it's an entirely not just the shock and the disappointment but also the gift and the blessing all simultaneously here and for him to actually experience it in his bodies and to to recognize all of the energies emotion that he is sensing feeling experiencing is exactly perfect and none is over the other it is just to be experienced and to be embraced and uh, I get to do the same thing with my other son my older son today over something else and it was just again same thing and I could feel their pulsing resistance and their young energy um, of more of the ego and then allowing them to come into the heart breathe so they can really embrace more of that moment right now and just the presence of the moment that carries so much more infinite possibilities so very, very beautiful to go through it to be witness to it then for it to be applied as always with my own family and I'm really looking forward to all that will be unfolding from here and if you happen to also catch that I'm wearing a lot of pink I've been in this pink pink energy literally feeding my little girl I changed also the room you'll see I made a little office for us and it's pinkish and to feed this inner child energy that feels so necessary so I've been in pink for a while longer because it's just I, I really am in this space and and I love it and really matches the spring renewal energy so I love you all have a beautiful blessed day um, yeah I just want to come on and extend my love to all of you and looking forward to more unfolding as I'll be sharing a couple of videos coming up with products actually <laughs> have a beautiful day